Hello everyone and Happy New Year! I hope you've started great and if not, don't worry, 2023 has a few more days to come. Let's dream big and do the best out of it. But for now, welcome or welcome back to my design and lettering channel and another plan with me video. This time we will set up my pages for January. Because I love winter sports and winter holidays so much, I chose snowboarding and mountains as my theme for January. Before we start, here a little flip through my setup pages for 2023. If you didn't watch them yet, I will link the video in the description box. If you are here to set up your journal with me, make sure you have your stationaries ready and if not, make yourself comfy, grab yourself a little snack and something to drink and enjoy the following setup. Let's start with the cover page for January. I sketched out a skiing area beforehand to save some time. I wanted my drawings to be more opaque and used my Hemi gouache set instead of watercolors. For the whole setting I used the colors white, acid blue, a little bit of violet, black, rose and yellow green. I started with the top and colored the sky in this vibrant blue. Then went in with white to color the mountains. To give the mountains some edges and more shape, I went in with a light gray and drawn some jagged lines. After that, I've drawn in some shadows here and there, mostly on the left side. The pists were next. I used white with a tiny little bit of blue and grey. I have drawn some tracks with white. Then I colored in the two snow borders and drawn in some shadows on the ground.
On the right side, I wanted some trees to line the pist. I started with a bigger one in the front and some smaller ones behind that. On the left side, I outlined the gondola with my STA pigment liner, I think in the size 005. After that, I colored them in, in this dark grey color. On the right side of the middle pist, I've drawn in another lift with the same pigment liner. Then I drew some dots to indicate some snowboarders and skiers. I positioned the January title on the right side and drawn three capital letters in this 3D font. First, I went in with a Tombow brush pen but went over it with a grey and black acrylic marker, which I bought from Amazon. As always, I will link all my supplies that I've used in this setup in the description box below. After that, I've cut the right side of the letters to create a Dutch door. But I regretted it and later in this video glued a strip of paper behind the letters.
On the next page will be my calendar page. Again, I outmark the gondola with a pigment liner, this time in the size 08 and colored it in again with a grayish mixture from the cover page. I colored the first line of the chart with a bluish acrylic marker, but the color clashed with the blue of the cover page so I went in and taped down the first line and used the same blue mixture from the cover page to color over the line again. I wrote January with this gray acrylic marker and drawn in the cables of the gondola as well as some light reflection on the window. For the day titles, I wanted to try out the stamps I bought some months ago from Amazon. The numbers of the calendar I wrote with the fine tip of my Tombow Dual Brush Pen in the color N75. The next page is my first quarter goals and habits page. I wrote the titles again with a gray acrylic marker. And here is the reason why you should cut your pages before decorating them. After a little mental breakdown, I decided that I left enough room between first and quarter to correct that mistake with a piece of paper. But first I've drawn in the contents of the page. Again, I taped down the subheaders and colored them in with gouache. Then I corrected my mistake and cut in the Dutch doors and a little piece of paper that I glued finally in. In the first box 
I will name four of my main goals that I want to focus on in the first quarter. Under that, I made room for the action steps for the main goals. In there, I will specify how to achieve them. My habits for this month, I will track in a chart that I locate on the right side of the page. So we have a little space left in the middle for another drawing. That I sketched in with pencil first. Unfortunately, I didn't recognize when my camera died while I filmed this drawing. So I'm very, very sorry that there is a lot of it missing. I've drawn in the back view of a person holding the snowboard while relaxing or watching some others. I wanted to draw a snowboarder girl, but I'm afraid the body shape that I've drawn is more male looking. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you think the person is looking more male or more female. After the drawing is finished, I wrote the days for the trackers with my Tombow again and lined every second line with the brush tip of it. I've drawn in a shadow for the headers and wrote my habits that I want to track. The next page will be my content planner. I wrote the title with my acrylic pen and then started to color in the decoration for this page. I sketched another girl, this time a front view. She has some goggles on that reflect the mountain view she is seeing.
my plan was to color her in some pale light colors so that the goggle painting will stand out more. I should have used color pencils for that, but unfortunately I used gouache. So that didn't work out as I wanted. But I still like the outcome. I must confess I'm so bad in drawing people and faces, but I'm absolutely satisfied how it turned out. Again, I colored the header boxes with a gouache and light every second line with a Tombow brush pen. In the first section, I will note down the videos that I will post in January. The section underneath is for Insta postings and on the right side, I will track the state of the videos that I am producing at the moment. The states are filming, cutting, audio and publishing. Underneath that is a place for notes. If you liked my video so far, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would help me a lot to grow and to produce more videos for you. On the next pages, I will plan my weekly pages. Therefore, I cut out another two Dutch doors. So I will have the same border painting for every week. Let's start with that. I draw in a line for the border and fill it with some snowboarding doodles.
I outlined them with a pigment liner in the size 08 and filled in the background with a black acrylic marker from before. I wrote out the weekly titles and colored the header boxes again with a gouache, but this time I didn't like the outcome and went over the downer ones with a grey acrylic marker. With the pigment liner in the size 005, I wrote the days and titles in the boxes. On the last page, I will have a shopping list, divided in groceries, drugstore and online. As I said before, here I glued a stripe of paper that I colored black on one side and blue on the other. But still I am not fully satisfied with the outcome. I think I should have used a broader stripe. But well, it is how it is. And it's okay. Some months ago I bought these glitter tapes in a dollar shop and now found them again on my table and I think they suit my color theme perfectly. So I decorated the sides of the pages with them.
My final page will be my memories page. Here I just draw in another mountain painting in the middle of the page and let the pages around blank. So I can write, draw or glue anything in that I want as a memory. And that is finally it. We are done with this setting. I know it was a long one again and I will try to come up with an easier theme for the next month. If you're still here, let me a snowboarder in the comments. And if you like my theme and my setup, please give me a thumbs up if you not already have done that. And thank you for watching until the end. I wish you a great day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!